Good evening. My name is Doug Bollinger, and I serve as principal here at Hawkins High School. I'd like to welcome you to tonight's celebration of our graduates. I'd also like to introduce to you the esteemed individuals standing in front of me. Starting with my, my far left, Dr. Rhoda Miri Piri Reed. On my far right, Wendy Donovan. Chris Newcomer. Steve Adams. Fartoon Ahmed. Jen Bouchard. Dave Larson. And Chris Latondras. This is a special night for both students and families. However, for some in our community, this evening isn't what they had envisioned. I ask that we please take a moment to silently remember classmates, friends, and family members who we've lost and who can't be with us here tonight. Thank you. I'd now like to welcome to the stage Morgan Holly and Isaac Gottlieb. Good evening, and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the Hopkins High School class of 2019. My name is Isaac Gottlieb. And I'm Morgan Holly. Carrying the United States flag, accompanied by Matt Golstad's performance of America the Beautiful, is Demiche Baker. Demiche, Demiche is enlisted in the Air Force and will be based in San Antonio, Texas at Lackland Air Base next year. Her chosen profession is security forces. The The Minnesota State flag is being carried by Sue Yang. Sue is enlisted in the Army National Guard. Next year, he will be going to Fort Lee, Virginia to do his advanced individual training. Please rise for the procession of the flag of Minnesota and the flag of the United States of America. One of the really special things about Hopkins is the numerous different backgrounds we represent. This year, we have 28 flags representing the countries with which our graduating class associates. The flag of Argentina. Democratic Republic of the Congo. Dominican Republic. Ethiopia. France. Republic of Georgia. Germany.
Haiti. India. Indonesia. Israel. Italy. Kenya. Laos. Liberia. Mexico. Nigeria. Poland. Saudi Arabia. Somalia. Spain. Switzerland. Thailand. The Gambia. Togo. Ukraine. Venezuela. And Vietnam. When thinking about our dialogue tonight, I thought we could get some inspiration from the Oscars. After this year's hostless Oscars, maybe we should just skip the talking altogether. So to conclude our ceremony. I did. No. Today's ceremony marks the end of our own high school experience. We can't not talk about that. True. Three years of pet fests, football games, and theater performances. But also, three years of accidentally calling your teacher mom, standing outside during winter fire drills, and dealing with those kids who try way too hard in gym class. So that was adolescence. Wait, Morgan, don't forget our numerous state titles, our rockets and protests, and our cultural celebrations. Those were really cool to watch happen this year. It was super fun to get involved in our school sit-in, and last year, watching the Black History Month parade and parade through the halls. And it was about time our basketball teams won state. Wait, wait, wait. We went state this year? Um, duh, Isaac. Didn't you go to any of the sporting events? Well, Morgan, were you at any of the music performances? Those were unforgettable. True, Isaac. Maybe as a class, we didn't all go to everything, but we sure still turned out to support each other when we could. Just look at the fall musical. More students came to see Dan Yankees than any other recent performance. And by the way, Morgan, I was at the girls' basketball championship, if you remember. And actually, Isaac, to think about it, I did go to a few band concerts. The class of 2019 turns out. Look at us tonight. We've been there for each other, and no worries, Isaac. I'll definitely be at your wedding embarrassing you with those junior high pictures. We aren't going anywhere. Over the past 13 years, all our paths have joined together to this moment. And even though our paths may separate after tonight, the class of 2019 will be at our future graduations, weddings, baby namings, and retirements, in whatever order those may land. Agreed. Let's give it up for the class of 2019. Tonight, members of the choir, led by Miss Katie Irvin, will perform Hold Fast to Dreams, a very famous Langston Hughes poem. This piece represents the dreams that the graduating seniors have and how they should strive to achieve them no matter what crosses their path. As they go off into the next chapter of their lives, they are the future that will help to change our world for the better. Enjoy Hold Fast to Dreams, performed by all seniors in choir.
Our first student speaker, AJ Bozeman, is a talented and highly motivated speaker, leader, and rapper. People know AJ for his inspirational speeches, exciting audiences with his thoughtful and reflective words. He is a talented rapper, sharing his own voice with his great music. People know AJ not only for these things, but also his infectious kindness and friendliness. AJ will be attending Minneapolis Community and Technical College next year. Please welcome AJ Bozeman to the stage. Hello, everybody. It's good to see all these friendly faces. Thank you. Pretty good. So, just like all of you, I have dreamt of this evening on numerous occasions. Even last year, I was with my TV club filming this entire ceremony. And the whole time I was there, I kept thinking to myself, in one year's time, that's about to be me. I'll be in a cap and gown giving my profound thanks and final salutes to my classmates, teachers, and staff, and anyone in between that has had a hand in making my experience at Hopkins one to cherish and remember. A year truly does go by fast because here we are now. As I stand up here and speak to all of you, it makes me think of every lesson that the Hopkins School District has taught me as a person and as a student. One in particular was to never give up. I remember taking global studies in eighth grade at the junior high, and I'll be honest, the eighth grade me, the 14-year-old me, didn't take much serious, not even the class. This resulted in me doing a poor job on a test and going from an A to an F. Now, knowing how much my teachers care about me, they showed heavy concern. My mom and dad were disappointed, and I was too. But I knew that I had one thing in common with my parents and teachers, that I wasn't just gonna let it go. I knew that the road to recover from an F wasn't gonna be easy, but it was a road worth going down. Studying two hours a night for the next test, asking more questions in class, being more engaged. I even got so desperate to the point where I blew up Mr. Lovis with at least eight emails, asking what I could do to raise my grade before winter break. That didn't go well either. <laughs> All this worked out as I managed to bring up my grade to a B plus by the end of the year, and this is when the lesson to never give up was taken into account. Another experience comes to mind involving the ACT. I would stand up here and tell you how much I don't like that test, but I don't have that much time. I remember the second semester of my junior year being heavily devoted towards ACT prep every day. Nine minute drills, taking thorough notes, English, math, reading, and science, you all remember that. And for me, my biggest problem was being too anxious when test day came around. Everyone that I connected with were bitter, indifferent, or annoyed by this whole process. We all had one common goal, to do the best job that we could on this test, because it is a beast. My biggest problem being too anxious, and this resulted in me taking the test twice my junior year and getting a score I wasn't happy with, both times. I was so dissatisfied with my performance on this test that I made a promise to disregard it as much as possible when my senior year began. Then I got a call from my dad saying, AJ, you're a talented kid, you're a smart kid, take the test one more time, I'll pay for everything, just do it. Again, not happy. So my 2019 starts off with me logging hour after hour to do better this time, doing more nine minute drills, asking more questions, taking even more thorough notes. It even got to the point where I did a couple exercises to keep from being anxious. You guys remember the, uh, the stress ball? Remember that? I did that too. This all worked out as I brought up my score on the ACT up by four points. Now, for most of you, I acknowledge that might not seem like much, but for me, it was something I was truly happy about. The joy that I felt in my soul cannot be put into words. My mom was proud, my dad, my friends, um, my teachers, especially my avid teacher, Ms. Heimlich, who we now call the avid mom. She was proud too, but most importantly, I was proud of myself. After all this, I've learned that whatever struggle, whatever setback, whatever burden comes your way, have this in mind. It might be hard, but it won't be impossible. Now, you're gonna encounter things that require a little more grit, a little more determination, and a lot more hard work. But I can tell you that from personal experience, it's a satisfying feeling when you face a challenge, you work your hardest, and you succeed in conquering said challenge. High school is no different. Now, school's no different. Now, um, shoot, I'm choking up here. Excuse me for a minute. Thank you. No difference. Thank <laughs> you.
Now, it's hard, but it won't be impossible. That is a mentality that I've had since my high school career began. And as it culminates tonight, I plan to take this mentality to college, to my music, to employment in whatever field, preferably psychology or music, and the rest of my everyday life. I want to advise all of you here to do the exact same thing, and I guarantee you there's nothing we won't accomplish. Man, it's, it's really been four years. Four years of personal, mental, emotional, social, academic, and some of us athletic challenges. Four years of starting group chats with your friend, being like, hey, yo, you get the first page to the study guide done? Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Four years of always changing your social group, meeting the right people, making the right and wrong choices, and growing up to become what we are now. Beautiful, talented, independent young men and women. Mm -hmm. Now, there are a lot of days where I've come into Hopkins High School, where I've came into school, and I've cherished my time here. Then there's some days where, you know, just not feeling it as much as I would want to. But whether it's my family, whether it's my friends, whether it's my avid teacher, the avid mom, Ms. Heimlich, mm -hmm, or whether it's another teacher, my Mrs. Satterin, whoever it is, I'm immediately treated like family. Mr. Lawson even told me at one point, he said, we are the world. And I agree with that statement on the grounds that we come from different backgrounds, believe in and think different things, and live different lives. But the one universal similarity that we have as students is that we all strive to do more than just good. We all want true and genuine happiness, which is different for everybody. We all had that one common goal we walked into this building the very first time in 2016, to graduate high school and to be ready to take on the next big challenge, whatever that may be. And as I look at all of you, the families, class of 2019, teachers, all I can say is, mission accomplished. So after we receive these diplomas, remember these three key lessons in life. Never give up, it might be hard, but it won't be impossible, and to always strive to do more than just good. Congratulations to all of us. And from the bottom of my heart, you are loved and appreciated. Thank you. Tonight, members of the Phil Philharmonic Orchestra will perf perform Russian Sailor's Dance by Reinhold Gliar, which is originally from a ballet. The music for this dancing is based on a popular Russian folk tune and includes many variations on this main theme. We hope you enjoy this lively dance by the Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Mrs. Allison Swigum.
am honored to introduce our second student speaker, Sally Reed. Sally has been thoroughly involved in many sports and clubs during her time at Hopkins, such as Girls United, NHS, Student Council, Track, and Dance. Not only do people know Sally for her achievements out of the classroom, but she is well known by teachers and friends for her impeccable work as a student at Hopkins High School. Next year, Sally will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So without further ado, please help me welcome to the stage one of my personal friends, Sally Reed. Good evening, students, families, friends, and teachers of the Hopkins High School graduating class of 2019. The joyous time for our high school graduation has finally arrived. We have made it. Today is the day that we say goodbye to the comfortable halls of Hopkins High School. The mall filled with the buzz of student stress and conversation, the halls infused with rushing to and from classes, the courts and fields where we scream for our sports teams, and even the parking lot where we all snuggle into the cozy single lane exits. These are just some of the places that have created the shell of our high school experience. But as I look back on these years of growing up, it is the people, the opportunities, and the knowledge that have filled the days of our education that will forever remind me of the glorious days back at the hop. Ever since I was young, my mother has often described to me how life is full of moments. We've all experienced the small moments, getting an A on that test you studied hard for, winning that game or important meet, going on your first date with a new person, or even just listening to music in the car with your best friends. These are the memories we have shared together at Hopkins that fill the present with feelings and short-term mental memorabilia. Then, there are the bigger moments. The times that naturally cement a permanent memory, an unforgettable ambiance or feeling that we carry with us throughout our lives. I've heard that your wedding day is usually a big one, as well as the day that your child enters the world or you get hired for your dream job. But high school graduation is undoubtedly one of these milestone memories. From, from the collection of these single moments throughout the last three years, the chain of our journeys has been constructed. Whether you joined the Hopkins community during secondary school or were an elementary school original, we have all gone through our own unique journeys that have somehow intersected, bringing us to the end of this path and the beginning of a new one. Joyce DiDonato, Grammy Award-winning opera singer, once said at a graduation, graduation speech at Juilliard, one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself right here, right now, in this single, solitary, monumental moment in your life is to decide without apology to commit to the journey and not to the outcome. Our time at Hopkins is represented by so much more than just this diploma. The Hopkins class of 2019 did not just mindlessly live through the motions of high school. They brought us on a journey with them as they led and were part of clubs such as HHS Response, Art Club, Earth Club, Robotics, Debate, even Ping Pong Club, just to name a few to create a school environment where everyone feels they can find their place. Our classmates have worked to make fundamental changes in our school, state, and surrounding community, as well as led Hopkins to state in several sports and even brought home the state championship more than a couple of times. This journey of fundraisers, musicals, discussions, protests, games, and so much more has truly bound us as a class and created an experience and impact that we will never forget. But more than just these wonderful accolades and the pride we should have in discovering ourselves and cementing a legacy, our time here at Hopkins has morphed us into adults that are ready to take on the world. We have become well-rounded people who can listen and respect those that may think or look differently than us. Although we have each had our own individualized experience, we have all faced ups and downs. We have learned about joy, excitement, sadness, frustration, pride, and everything in between. We have learned and grown more within the halls of this school than we can even presently realize. So soak in this incredible moment to rejoice in achievement. But remember that life is about the experiences that carry us through it, not the temporary arrival at a destination. As we continue, relish in the freedom to decide what you wish to pursue, learn about, and experience. As David Foster Wallace once said in his iconic This Is Water commencement speech, you get to consciously decide what has meaning and what doesn't. Foster a love for what you do and all that surrounds you in this journey of life. Take the time to thank the people and appreciate all the things that have brought you through this journey. 
I would like to thank my parents, brother, and the rest of my family and friends for always supporting me. Thank you to all the amazing teachers, staff, and administration of Hopkins High School for cultivating an environment for all of us to grow into the people that we are today. We have reached the finish line of this seemingly endless race towards adulthood, but we also know that this marks more of a beginning than it does an end. We are the Hopkins High School graduating class of 2019. We made it. Let's go up there and show the world what we've got. Thank you. Tonight, the Wind Ensemble, led by Mr. William Bell, will be performing Highlights from High School Musical by Ted Ricketts. Mr. Bell chose this piece after many students requested it. He felt it would be great to end the year on a fun note and pick a piece that describes your own high school experience. Please welcome the Wind Ensemble.
At this time, we ask all graduating musicians to return to their seats. Mr. Doug Bollinger. Mr. Doug Bollinger has been with the Hopkins High School administration as our principal for three years. His connection to our class is a little different than years past, as his first day of Hopkins High School was also ours. We have had the opportunity to experience the good, bad, and the ugly of Hopkins together. Mr. Bollinger has played a helpful role in nurturing our passions, accepting our desire to push against not only our school, but our world, and supporting us on and off the campus. Please welcome Mr. Doug Bollinger. I'd like to thank Morgan and Isaac, um, and good evening again, everyone. I want to thank you for making this time to celebrate our class of students. They've all impressed us, and tonight's MCs and speakers are our cases in point. Let's give them another round of applause, please. Now before we proceed, I have a little information to share regarding the Alumni Challenge. 526 of these seniors, so the, the strong majority, have already pledged money to future graduates. To date, they have raised $1,176. So nice job, seniors. Every year around this time, I feel myself settling into the figurative rocking chair ready to dole out sage advice to you youngsters in the crowd. So I googled, what would Ashton Kutcher say? Unfortunately, his advice has already been doled out by some other principal in some other state. So I had to come up with something original. In all seriousness, the feelings are especially strong this year for, as Morgan stated, uh, you class of 2019, you, you hold a special place in my heart as the first class that I, that I met. Your first day, yes. Your first day was my first day. Your first pep fest was my first pep fest. Your first heartogram day was my first day explaining to parents why heartograms really are awesome and it's worth the interruptions. I've been able to watch you grow, students, for three years. You've done well. You've achieved good grades, ace tests. You've broken all sorts of HHS and state records. You've testified at the state capitol. You've won numerous scholarships, won championships, helped change the tobacco age in Minnetonka, scored well on the ACT, taken hundreds of AP tests. And that's all great, truly. You've, you've demonstrated that you're ready for the learning challenges that life is about to throw at you. But it's not enough. I want you to, to hear this phrase that I'm about to say as you move forward. Who you are is more important than what you know. Again, who you are is more important than what you know. That is a line from Thomas Hoare's book, The Formative Five, which makes the point that learning academics and being knowledgeable about things will only bring you so far. It's your character as a person that matters much, much more. What brings you success is being a good person, showing kindness when you want to be mean, exercising patience when you want to scream, presuming the best of people's intentions when you're pretty sure they aren't doing the same for you. Kindness always wins. Patience always wins. Positivity always wins. If you spend any time on social media, you see how easy it is to be mean. But I'm reminded of an old song lyric. Some in the crowd may know it. 
It's easy to laugh. It's so easy to hate. It takes strength to be gentle and kind. Fellow Gen Xers will recognize that line from the Smiths. It's over 30 years old, and it still holds true. So that's my charge to you, students. Be gentle and kind moving forward. Because guess what? Nobody wants to work with a mean person. I remember being in graduate school quite a while back. It was a class called the Politics of Education, and it was fantastic. We were talking about the importance of being a, of, of good character among colleagues when a person raised his hand and asked, why does that matter? If you're good at your job, at doing the work, then why should it matter that other adults like you? I would point out that he was sitting by himself in the middle of the classroom. It wasn't terribly fun to be around. Another classmate answered his question. She shared that, that the school district she worked in recently hired someone just like that person, smart, good at making decisions, but not kind to others. Hard to be around. The result, people started to leave the district and avoid working with him. When I hire staff at HHS, I look for people who have three things, an energy, intelligence, and character. If I miss on energy or intelligence, we're going to be OK. We can fill that in with professional development. If I miss on character, we've got a problem. It's really hard to teach a person how to change who they are. Another more recent example, students. You did the senior walk at your former elementary school last week. Those young ones looked up to you like you were heroes. None of those students knew your GPA. None of them know any of your other academic achievements or for what you're doing, know what you're doing next year. They know you for how you treated them that day in that moment. So regardless of your next chapter, you're going to learn a lot over the next few years. The really important stuff will be outside of a classroom. My challenge to you is to lean into those lessons that make you a better person. Pay attention to how, you, how people react to you. Pay attention to the impact of your words and your actions. Pay attention to your reputation. We've been proud to call you Hopkins students. Now, go make us proud to call you Hopkins graduates. Thank you. Next, we have our superintendent, Dr. Rhoda Miri Piri Reed, who is in her second year at Hopkins Schools. Dr. Miri Piri Reed started a new vision, 2031, focusing not only on what our students need to be successful now, but how we best support our students' education in a quickly evolving world. Reflecting on her time at Hopkins, Dr. Miri Piri Reed mentioned the strong character and leadership skills Hopkins students have. Despite our class not being in Hopkins in 2031, Dr. Mary Pierre Reed has been impressed by our class's call to action as our district continues its journey from becoming great to world class. Please welcome Dr. Rhoda Mary Pierre Reed. Thank you, Isaac, and good evening to all of you. Some of you have seen Beyonce's new film titled Homecoming. Besides being an obsessive Beyonce fan and in complete admiration of her performance prowess, the documentary offers instructive insight into Beyonce's bravery around something I'll call speaking your truth. In addition to providing a glimpse of the grueling preparation for her 2018 Coachella performance. There are powerful voiceovers throughout the feature to tell the story of this performer who battles many of the same life challenges that we battle in our non-famous lives. In this film, the distinguished voice of Dr. Maya Angelou surfaces. Dr. Angelou was a wise poet and author is known for her sage perspectives on the world's deepest dilemmas, and I was completely struck by her comments. In an interview which was recorded one year before her death and served as a backdrop in Beyonce's film, Dr. Angelou shared, what I really want to do is be a representative of my race, the human race. I have a chance to show to teach, to love, and to laugh. 
She was then asked to give advice to young people. She paused, then said, tell the truth to yourself first. These words hit me. We, as a nation, don't always make it safe for young people to tell the truth, neither to oneself nor to the greater world. Facing and speaking your truth helps you develop your voice. Youth voice, your voice, is important now more than ever in Hopkins and vastly beyond. Class of 2019, each of you has gifts beyond what you know. As you sit, donning your blue commencement caps and gowns, contemplating your future, you may find yourself at a crossroads. There is a choice, and this choice will always exist, to speak your truth or to say what you believe others want to hear. Your truth could be a number of things, your core identity, a strong belief, a deep realization, or even an important strength or attribute you didn't know you had. My hope and strong belief is that Hopkins has absolutely been the place where a combination of caring adults and learning experiences have resulted in you landing upon this truth path. The class of 2019 is tremendous. You are it. You are founders of new organizations, creators of new movements, protesting old ways, and individuals who have overcome imposing challenges. Your family may have come from another country, and perhaps you've conquered cultural, linguistic, or other barriers. Many of you have suffered loss, and still, here you are today. Consider what you've accomplished. As Principal Bullinger mentioned, you've traveled to the state capitol to advocate for change, pushed yourself in HAP, AVID, AP, CIS, and other amazing programs, excelled in sports and even earned state titles, launched mental health support for your peers, you royal repped, led fishbowls to influence adult thinking, and wrote op-eds to influence societal thinking. And throughout all of this, you faced fears and confronted the world on your own terms. Truth-telling and seeking may never be easy, but all of us here have given you the tools to persevere on this path. Hopkins scholars, be courageous and resolute in pursuit of your personal truth. Dr. Angelou captured this in her poignant words when she wrote, without courage, we cannot practice any other virtue without consistency, with consistency. We can't be kind, true, merciful, generous, or honest. So what's up to you, Hopkins High School Class of 2019? What is your truth? Tell it to yourself first, because the world is now yours. How will this truth guide what you have to say? We and the world will be listening. Congrats and best wishes, class of 2019. At this time, we will do the presentation 
of the diplomas on behalf of the Hopkins Board of Education and Hopkins School District, I present to you the class of 2019. Abdallah Hassan. Ayan Abdi. Bilal Abdi. Khalid Abdi. Ladan Abdi. Razir Abdullahad. Muhammad Abdullahi. Anab Abdullahi. Maxwell Ackerman. Michael Adam. Adrian Agras. Zachary Alexson. Leslie Alcantar Mejia. Bobby Ali. Zahara Aluha Nehidi. Masood Ali. Mohammed Ali. Reese Anders. Rashane Ambers Winston. Anna Anderson. Asher Anderson. Evan Anderson. Isabel Anderson. Hannah Anderson. Eduardo Angulo Ortiz. Dean Andrasco. Mohammed Antar. Abigail Ansel. Sitlali Arias. Christian Arangueres Mancias. Mayuka Asai. Anna Arneson. Lucy Avenson. Ben Askarov. Ming Bailey. Anna Bachmeyer. Natasha Baksh. Demisha Baker. Nicole Bank. Akim Bengila. Ayan Berry. Samuel Barzak. Liam Baumgart. Tuguldur Batur. Sydney Beasley. Emily Beard. Michaela Beaupre. Brianna Beatty. Olivia Bain. Ashley Beckman. Daniela Beltran Mendoza. Lena Bergert. Maria Belmonte Borge. Teddy Bernard. Kira Bergstresser. Madeline Burnt. Ray Berman Jolton. Rosella Berge. Katie Blad. Avery Bow. Carmen Borboom. Sean Bullinger. Zane Bonet. AJ Bozeman. David Bragg. Rayleigh Bragg. Dylan Braneth. Lola Brown. Jalen Brown. Samaya Buchanan. 
Capri Bryant. Janessa Burt. Amelia Buckingholtz. Zachary Coet. Sam Buttress. Jairo Castanada. Akil Carter. Leslie Elena Cervantes Arias. Kennedy Cathers. Jalen Champion. Delayla Chicolas. Nicholas Chevalier. Jason Chappelle. Kiani Christians. Deborah Chepkamoy. Camille Clark. Colin Christensen. Adam Cochran. Sahavit Chun Nguyen. Elizabeth Coleman. Isaac Cohen Pesh. Zachil Contreras. Nyasia Coleman. Matthew Cords. Michael Copeland. Alexander Counts. Caitlin Costello. Stephanie Crespo. Sam Covo. Javon Curry Evans. Tania Crowther. Pierce Curtis. Logan Curtis. Isaac Dahlmeyer. Maya Citrin. Alexandria Daniels. Andrew Danke. Usman Darbo. Alim Darapet. Mariana Davis. Elijah Davis. Daly Deering. Tayana Davis. Blair Deck. Jalen Deering. Isaiah Dennis. Aisha Dem. Eli Distash. Emma DePap. Allison Dorsher. Philip Dernberger. Lavin Douglas. Mason Donat. Gabrielle Dudley. Margaret Dozdahl. Brian Duval. Nicholas Dutcher. Jacob Ekwe. Tuang Zhu. Anna Erickson. Luke Endress. Evan Erickson. Connor Erickson. LaShyla Ewing. Anthony Espino. Isabella Faital. Ethan Ewell. Louis Felimovicius. Joseph Fonbola. Joshua Fogel. Kata Feketa. Amber Forbert. Farah Fedig. Joshua Friedman. Sarah Fogel. Julia Fromstein. Holden Frazee. Emma Gallinson. Tyler Fromm. 
Olivia Gallagher. Benjamin Fearon. Edson Garcia. Sydney Gallinson. Rachel Gelfman. Alejandra Gallegas Perez. Jack Glanzer. Julieta Garcia Cordova. Sophie Goldenberg. Nemo Gayle. Erlyn Gonzalez. Ian Gerard. Jake Graceman. Joshua Goal. Rhiannon Griffin. Jacob Gonzer. James Golden. Isaac Gottlieb. Samuel Hoberman. Andrea Gray. Sierra Hagen. Kayla Gettler. Michaeli Hanu. Jack Gunderson. Jalen Harbin. Mario Hadley. Calvin Harris. Julia Handley. Morgan Holly. Mats Hansen. Cyrus Heimlich. Leah Harrell. Lucas Herring. Tasia Hartfield. Van Herman. Malaya Hawkins Winters. Samuel Hershkovitz. Farhia Hassan. Emil Hill. Connor Heinrich. Quilias Hill. Gabriel Herman. Laura Hink. Atiana Hernke. Eli Haft. Liza Hilario Moreno. Anna Hoyt Lipovat. Jamira Hill. Irfan Hoyt Lipovat. Gabriella Herman. Hillman. Gabriella Hillman. John Holmes. Morgan Hirschman. Nicholas Holmes. Sarah Hoffman. Jack Holzersmith. Ellen Hofstad. Von Holzersmith. Lucy Holm. Lily Hauschka. Juan Holmes. Sydney Hunter. Reagan Holmes. Zakaria Hussein. Everett Hop. Zawadi Isaboke. Davia Horton. Nia Jackson. Kirill Howard. Malamin JT. Ridwan Hussein. Momodu Diallo. Jack Hymanson. Jackson James. Abdi Jabbar Issy. Isabella Japs. Rachel Yeager. Jack Jensen. Musa JT. Alexis Johnson. Hassan Jama. Felix Johnson. Hussein Jama. Nakia Johnson. 
Cole Yansa. Taylor Johnson. Anthony Jennings. Isaiah Joyner. Jessica Jimenez. Sam Jonas. Lamar Johnson. Lily Collar. Emily Johnson. Jacob Camp. Azumi Johnson Dorothy. Babakar Kanyi. Zeta Jolliker. Isatu Kanyi. Imani Jones. Rachel Kelly. Noah Junker. Morgan Kilty. Asher Khan. Nicole Class. Nicholas Canitz. Ryan Clem. Mitchell Kaplan. Alexander Koritz. Aja Kasama NJ. Sarah Cosberg. Gabrielle Kemper. Cole Crystal. Emily Kirk. Emma Curas. James Klecker. Bladen Langert. Cole Canaplo. Lauren Larson. Sarah Canoplo. Lucy Lee. Lauren Craig. Nucci Lee. Kaylee Cryenbrink. Jacob Lehman. Maya Kupritz. Elizabeth Longer. Rose Kylo. Wyatt Lubarski. Blake Kukowski. Angel Macias. Maxwell Lacey. Ayana Maddox. Karina Laura Izu Ordia. Brevin Madsen. Hayden Laurent. Mackenzie Manuel. Nolan Lee. Mackenzie Jones. Samuel Leervig. Jessica Martinez Arias. Marco Leon Hill. Aaron Mossman. Dylan Long. Megan McCartney. Michelle Lopez Perez. Molly Meeland. Rachel McLaughlin. Brian Mendez Rosario. Paul Madison. Peyton Maywison. Kristen Mandeville. Hannah Mickelson. John Martin. James Miller. Marcy Naslowski. Yakub Mire. Ellen Matson. Abdurrahman Mohammed. Mason Mayer. Belen Montero. Caleb McDowell. Ramla Mahmoud. Jessica Melnick. David Morales. Amelia Murphy. Pachia Mua. 
Eva Michelson. Nuwa Moba. Elena Middlecoff. Malyun Mose. Isabel Miller. Sagit Nakmias. Yaya Meyer. Shay Nelson. Manav Murpuri. Bryce Newcomb. Eric Mitchell. Soso Noor. William Mitchell. Christina Wynn. Sarah Muhammad. Molly Nierenstein. Owen Montier. Jake Noble. Peyton Morgan. Ben O'Black. Sabrine Molid. Mary O'Neill. Alexander Mundahl. Colin O'Reilly. Ethan Myers. Samuel Olson. Sarah Nelson. Olivia Onsgard. Wyatt Nelson. McKenna Ortiz. Jermaine Neza. Nemo Nadar Osman. Ethan Nielsen. Yasim Waizu. Ezekiel Naji. Benjamin Paschke. Ashley Normandin. Samet Patel. Ilyas Nur. Nathan Patridge. Susan O'Dwyer. Tony Patridge. Riley O'Neill. Davis Pearson. Zeta Oleg. Jaime Perez. Alexander Olson. Alex Perez Veliz. Yusuf Omar. Madison Perry. Emilio Ortegon. Luke Poyak. Maria Ortiz Rodas. Lily Provenzano. Caitlin Osland. Alice Ratke. Kiana Oyelowo. Marcella Reese. Jackson Parker. Dante Remenick. Jordan Passman. Raphael Remenick. Clifton Patterson. Lexi Riley. Suzanne Patterson. Chloe Rittenauer. Favor Paul. Emma Rock. Shoshana Pfeiffer. Andres Rogel Fuentes. Angela Perez Hauragi. Elena Roscoe. Stephanie Perez. Melanie Roth. Tyler Patterson. Peterson, I apologize. Sedona, Sedonia Rule. Kristen Powell. Catherine Sari. Vera Sias. Nawal Saeed. Sara Lee Reed. Hayden Salargo. 
Maximus Regenti. Abdiquani Samantar. Tayana Reynolds. Josephine Sanford. Anthony Ridley. Jacob Savitz. Sydney Riley. Samuel Schachtman. Molly Robley. Thomas Schmitz. Morgan Rail. Adrian Schultz. Gideon Ross. Mary Shute. Irvin Rubio. Daniel Cyril. Penn Sagadal. Jacob Segura. Selma Saeed. Zachary Segura. Catherine Salcedo. Oscar Cerna. Joshua Sanders. Jesse Shatirishvili. Jacob Sandler. Macy Shatirishvili. Zoe Sachs. Jerison Shamizu. Caden Saxon. Quinn Schrag. Catherine Schmid. Haki Singleton. Seth Schricker. Karsten Skoglin Anderson. Troy Schreyers. Delshawn Smith. Kala Seafeld. Melina Smith. Stella Seagar. Autumn Snoddy. Samuel Siegelbaum. Nafi Sumari. Ronia Sheik. Mia Sparrow. Hannah Sherman. William Stein. Samuel Sick Sickink. Milton Stemper. Elizabeth Siriani. Kylie Stevens. Jack Slattery. Leah Stillman. Luke Smith. Tyler Stays. Nicholas Smith. Madeline Souk. Nyla Suse. Sky Swan. Wilder Sovereign. Cooper Swift. Andy Stafford. Dua Tao. Alec Steinman. Thadatat Tungri Kong. Alexis Stevenson. Michaela Torfin. Jackson Steeister. Hunter Toll. Parker Stoddard. Mohammed Treor. Jackson Stussy. Hannah Trisky. Ethan Sullivan. Olivia Trudell. Nikayla Tetro. Dylan Tupper. Gianni Tehad. Joseph Tuberdick. David Tyne. Tavon Tullifson. I got it. Olivia Trudell. Jasmine Therese Perez. Dylan Tupper. Tanner Trevina. 
Joseph Tuverdik. Renee Troutman. Raquan Valentine. Avery Trong. Ruth Vogel. Naya Kim Tut. Caitlin Votel. Nicole Ugaretz. Trevor Votel. Sydney Urban. Najee Wallace. Sai Vang. Abdi Orsami. William Vanderhoff. Trey Waterman. Shelly Vu. DeAndre White. Alex Wakefield. Mika Wibawa. Grace Wallace Jackson. Kennedy Williams. Jaden Washington. Amaya Walpert. Jamel Wisby. Aaron Weiss. Amaya Walpert. Madeline Witte. Carly Walpert. Alange Williams. Alex Zhang. Alicia Winter. Sue Yang. Isaac Wolf. Ayub Yusuf. Zachary Wood. Yosef Yusava. Alec Warmuth. Noah Zeroff. Oscar Warmuth. Isaac Zickerman. Pachara Zhang. Dane Zimmer. Nathaniel Yeshuas. Asina Hassan. Cami Young. Junior Yamas. Xavier Zaccanini. Lily yeah. Zadeklik. Caitlin Ziegler. Alicia Zudov. At this time, I ask that our Honor Guard members please come forward as we get ready to present the graduates. community, the class of 2019. 